After Buzz, my name is Chelsea Overrocker, and here we are at Day of Days with Robert Scott Wilson and Victoria Conifal. Sin, how are you guys doing today? Doing great, how are you? Doing good. Yeah. Ditto. We're Ditto. I'm awesome. <laughs> Ditto. Yeah. I just gotta say, your boots are killer. I love them. Thank you. So cute. Very fashionable. Steve Madden, seventy dollars. <laughs> 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 well, as you guys know, I have this awe moment, this awe segment, audition days, and every time I put sin on there. The fans just go crazy. I'm not even done with the show, and someone's already retweeting the segment. 50 notifications, no joke. I mean, what? how are That's you guys awesome. feeling about this fan base? Uh, amazing. Super grateful. And thank you for the y'all moments, because oh, we'll take them. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, I was super grateful, man. I mean, we you know caught fire quickly, and now here we are a year later, and it's like just trying to keep the momentum. And yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. I'm just like crossing our fingers, you know? It's We've been riding this high, so we're just trying to keep it going. Yeah. And with your character, Ben Weston, I want to touch on this. The, the, story, the writers did such a good job portraying mental illness with Ben, and I really like how they put that in the storyline. For you, how was it trying to portray that character and trying to prepare for that role? Well, now it's really just going back into what I already went through with him, and I feel like once you kind of experience it a little bit, like even in acting, you know, where when you go through it, you can kind of trace back to it and I can jump back into those places but you know a few years ago when it really first started yeah man, I did my research I did my work I watched a lot of wild documentaries and I, I, I love that stuff anyway yeah whether I was playing this character or not it's always intrigued me because um, I just like how the mind works like that and I love Ben and I love I'm very protective of him now and I, I, I will never lose that edge for him but he is a different man like he is back to the he's he's he was never was like an evil person forever or like no, mentally no. you know he had a moment where it went through this break and he's fighting through that and granted in the soap world it's gassed up to the highest levels but uh at the end of the day you know route the stuff in love uh ground the stuff in love and and know where he came from and have empathy and it's all we can all we can do as as humans so um I've had a great time. I've had a great time playing. And you've done such a great job because he comes across, you know, not many people, first of all, like what he's done, but now you're such a lovable character. Everyone loves you. It's crazy, man. It's so crazy. I'm so grateful, like, so crazy to me to even hear it now, but, like, t time has passed. You know, it's been, like, two years of it, but, like, really a year of what's taken place with him having his anchor because he was going to be on this path of, like, cleaning up and redemption no matter what, but it wouldn't have happened and it wouldn't have been trusted and it wouldn't have maybe worked without yeah. Sierra, without his anchor, without love. Yes. Without love, he didn't love himself anymore. Yes. He came back and he didn't like himself. No. He, she made, she fixed him. She made him love himself again. Yeah. You know, so. And Victoria, oh, that was so emotional. He's like, you're his Brock. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Victoria, you have the coolest background with how you got, you do, you do. Well, with your mom, she learned how to speak English through soap operas. And then one of her favorite couples was, Bo oh, her absolute favorite couple was Bo and Hope. How does it feel to be able to play their daughter? Uh, it feels great. Um, it still, you know, it, I need to think about it for it to really sink in. And when I do, it's like feeling it all over again. I feel the butterflies of the reality of the situation. Yeah, my mom did watch the show when she was 19 and on. And, and she had a little baby that she was taking care of, trying to make it in America, not knowing the English language. Fell in love with the show, fell in love with Bo and Hope. Lo and behold, you know, 20 years later, I end up playing their daughter. It's it's surreal. I think it was written in the stars. I was meant to be on the show for a reason. And uh, I'm eternally grateful. I've learned so much on the show. I continue to learn every single day, and it's a, it's a blessing. Yeah. What a cool platform to be on as well. And I do want to send out my apologies with, with your grandmother, with the Alzheimer's. And... But your posting was so great, and you're able to spread the awareness. How does it feel to be able to be on the platform and spread that? That's my favorite thing about social media. Every other aspect of it, I can't stand. The one thing that I do love is the fact that I get to spread a message that means something. Yeah. If there are people listening to me, I might as well say something of value. And that is really important to me. Um, and, and I am very proud of my position uh, in terms of doing that. You know, I am an activist in, in many ways. Um, I'm an ambassador for many charities and I think that it's, uh, it's an important thing to use our time on this planet to help others and to actually make it count instead of focusing on vanity. Yeah. And um, 
I think that social media focuses a lot on vanity. Everyone is, you know, the, the look, the, uh, the aesthetic of my page. Oh, how do I, you know, blah, blah, post this. I don't care what my page looks like as long as the words mean something and affect someone. Very passionate about this so I can talk forever. Oh. Stop me now. I I did. You did. You opened up I know, can. I did. We could go on about this. <laughs> well, really quick, before we go, my segment Audition Days is all moment. Fans go crazy. So from you guys first started to now, do you have an awe moment between Sin that you just felt like was just so cute, you really liked? A lot of them. I, you guys have a lot. I don't know. I, feel, I don't know. The more one in particular? Um, oh, 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 oh. Um, when uh, Ben saves Sierra from the cabin after Claire tries to, and he lifts her, and he's like, nah, babe, you're not walking. That's that one, right? Yeah. That, I'm not confusing it with the other time she was trapped in the cabin and then right. saved her. Because that was like the epic slow walk. They hit us with yes. like the slow walk. Yeah, mom Sorry, is like, mom is like, Sarah, we'll Sorry. take you to the hospital. And he's like, don't worry, help, I got this. Oh, no, no, no. The, the line was, I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it that's he does it perfectly. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I that's, remember that. That was, a, that was a good one. That's that was good. A good one. I like that one too. That's, I'll, 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 we'll pass it along. And yeah. that's our awe moment of the week. Aww. So, aww you guys know it well thank you guys so much for joining me it's been so <laughs> lovely chatting with you i could do this all day hey, honestly we'll, do this all day. we'll do it we <laughs> bowls to talk about oh yeah but they're, oh she didn't get you <laughs> i don't have kinky coffee today you must have something my regular starbucks no, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's kinky stand corrected see what he does oh sin you gotta love them <laughs>